Alright guys, so it is day two and I um, spent a good part of the time last night or last evening doing the um, parking brakes and when I put the car in the driveway on an angle engaged the parking brake, I got some nice tension I was like, yes! And then all of a sudden it was like a pop and I lost all the tension in the pedal and it was a major fail. So, I know the components at the back of the car are good, good shoes, and, you know, it's adjusted properly, so it's a good possibility it could be the cable. I don't know, man. I went online, and I tried looking up some things, and people, I guess it seems to kind of be a common problem, so I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe swapping out the parking brake cable. I don't know. Maybe it got stretched. I don't know if there's a way to adjust it. There doesn't seem to be a clear answer on that. But I'm giving up on that for right now. I'm going to go ahead and hop under the hood here and um, get these spark plugs popped out. Let's we'll see what 250,000 mile spark plugs look like. They're supposed to be changed to something like 30,000 miles or something like that. That's, that's pretty bad. I didn't change my spark plugs. All right. Yeah, let's autofocus, dude. Thank you. Oh, where is it at? Hood pop. So, as I understand it, it's a pretty, fairly easy job. We're just going to pop off the, the cowl here. And then the coil pack should be exposed on both sides. And um, I think it's a 10 millimeter bolt per coil pack. There's two of them. And then um, there's two spark plugs per cylinder. So this thing has 16 spark plugs. Um, and I think you use a 5 8 um, deep socket. So hopefully this goes without a hitch. More than likely not because that's just the way things go. So, um, let's get started here. Alright, so I got the cowl removed, and, oh man, I am going to have to put some money into this car. This, this needs some serious wrench time. It's looking horrible under here, man. Look at the fuel rods. Look absolutely terrible. This coil pack over here is looking all worn. It's just, it's an old car, man. And then up here, the, uh... Looks like the vacuum tube. Looks like I got some leakage going on there. Uh, what else? Let's see here. Oh, we got this hose over here on the radiator clamp. Going to the radiator. Coolant. That's looking like crap. The block needs to be scrubbed down with a wire brush. I mean, it's an old car, and it's been sitting outside a long time. It still runs like a champ, though, but, yeah, this, this car definitely needs some massaging. So, anyhow, one, two, three, four coil packs per side, two 10-millimeter bolts on each, and then you got two spark plugs per cylinder. So, kind of self-explanatory. You're just going to wrench off the bolts, remove the packs, and get in there with a wrench, 5 8 which I got everything set up right here, and um, hopefully it goes without a hitch. What I don't have is a magnet, and I think I need a magnet. So I'm kind of uh, apprehensive about starting this job right now. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm digging into this job here, and I'm pumping my brakes, man. I'm done. Um, I do not feel good continuing this job without a magnetic tool to get down into the, um, the cylinder to yank out the spark plug if it gets stuck or my tool drops in there or, or something. I don't know what I'm going to encounter right now. And the problem is I can't find my the one magnetic uh, extension tool that I had. Um, so I got to go to the car store and get one. The problem is this is the only car I got right now. Wife is gone. We don't have a third vehicle right now, so old school transportation. About to hop on the bike 
and ride about three miles, four or five miles up the road um, to the parts store. You can see I got the uh, the coil pack off there in the corner, and you're looking down into the, uh, the cylinder head and um, two deep dark holes that I am not about to go delving into without the proper protection. <laughs> All right, guys. So. As always, man, you do these jobs and it ends up just being more than you anticipated. Preparation is key. And I thought about that ahead of time. I should have, I, I knew better. Anyhow, finish this up later. Got a bike right ahead of me. All right, so I'm back, man. All sweaty. I don't know how far it was. It took me about an hour, though. Hopped on the bike. Rode all the way up to the auto parts store and got me... Some magnetic tools. I thought I had some, but I don't know. Can't find them. So, about to um, hop back under the hood. Finish this spark plug change. So, now I can confidently hop under here and get these plugs out. And if anything drops down in the hole, I Got my tool to yank it out. All right. The saga continues. All right, so I got the, um, the first set of plugs here loosened up. And this is why you need a magnetic tool. Because it's down in there. And um, They're down in there pretty good. So the standard spark plug remover tool with the little rubber insert doesn't quite fit in here. So you have to use just a regular deep socket. jokers looks like. I was hoping this magnet was a little stronger. It's kind of weak. But there we go. Woo! Holy crap. Man, that's not a good sign, guys. That's bad. Oh, my plugs are foul to death. There's oil all over them. I'm in trouble. Wow. off with the shoe. Look how black the tip is. That's a mess. You don't want to see that. Granted, like I said, this car has 250 some odd thousand miles on it. These are the original plugs, I believe. I never changed them. So we got another one here. Looking like crap. There you go. So you can see how black the tips are. Yeah, they're just, they're fouled. Like crazy. It's horrible. Wow. Looks like there's some leakage in there too, man. Woo! Old car, man. She needs some serious massaging. So what I'm going to do now is crack open a new box here and I'm going to throw a little anti-seize on the tread and then just fish them back in there carefully retread them lock them down I think it's like 10 inch pounds or something like that not a lot just barely torque it down all right so once I get them all out on this side I'm gonna lay them out on the floor take a look at them again but if I keep stopping the video, it's going to take forever. So, let's get busy. Alright, I'm going to try and get this last one on uh, video. So, I changed out all the other um, plugs 
on the other side of the car and I just finished the last three here this is the last one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the coil packs and see how gross this is and this engine needs uh, some serious cleaning so packs are out just knocking off the grit kinda just wanna lean them out the way just be sure not to jack up your wires so doing a plug change more than likely I mean it's gonna vary from car to car but I know on a WRX you would need like a um, swivel tool something like this this has come in very very handy and then the thing I had to go and get when I took the bike ride is a magnetic tool and that's how you're gonna fish out your plugs Go ahead and drop the swivel down in here and you get it locked onto the plug there by hand. Get your ratchet on. You kind of want to keep this centered so the torque on the plug is nice and even and it shouldn't be too tight but I came across a couple of them that were just ridiculously tight for no reason. So this one wasn't bad. This one seems like it was torqued about right. So after you give it a couple turns, you should be able to get it going by hand. So let's see if I can get the rest by hand. Yep, there we go. Voila! Juicy! Alright. This one doesn't look bad at all. So... Definitely got some funkiness going on here because some of my cylinders have some serious leakage going on, oil getting in there. So now what I'm going to do is crack open my two new spark plugs. This is no product endorsement. I'm just, this is what I bought off the shelf, so it is what it is. I'm not endorsing one plug over another. that this car is a little up there in age. We'll take a little anti-seize lubricant and just lightly thread it or apply it to the threads. Not a whole lot. I know some people don't do this. Some people, you know, whatever. Personal preference. I guess. So once you got your plugs prepped, what I like to do is that tip there where the spark occurs, you want to carefully insert it into the hole there. And then I kind of lean it on the, the bolt part and then just kind of chuck it down in there. Then you're gonna stick your tool back in there and you gently, this is not forceful now, you want to gently start hand tightening it. If you feel any resistance, back it out, start over. Alright, so then you're just gonna take your coil packs. I mean, you want to be real anal, you can clean them off and do all that other jazz, but I'm not worried about it. Pop it in. You kind of want to hear it 
click or you'll feel it kind of snug down on top of the uh, spark plug tip. So I'm going to just bolt this coil pack back in place. Of course, it's giving me problems. place. I'm just going to torque it down. And we are finished. Was not a hard job. Um, again, just got to allocate some time, allocate some patience. Make sure you have the right tools, you know, being prepared, having the right tools is everything. I mean, in my opinion, working on cars, I mean, I'm not the most mechanically inclined when it comes to cars, meaning I know exactly how an automobile works in every piece and every part. I am me mechanically inclined, I should say. I'm not um, like an engineer. Can't quite tell you all that, the ins and outs, but man, if you have just you know the basic tools more or less you know you should be able to get the job done for the most part just have a little bit of patience not too hard so we got that side squared away all packs are in and bolted here's the other side all packs in and bolted here are the spark plugs and as the engine lays as you can see over here one two three four five, six, seven, eight cylinder. That's exactly where these plugs came from in that same exact order. So you can see that back right cylinder on the car is like the worst. The two back actually, there's a lot of leakage going on back there, man. These things are oily. On the right side, they are fouled to death. And then we got the next pair. This one on the left is looking horrible. Those plugs are burnt. A little bit of oil on the tip. These are horrible. And then these are the final set. These aren't too bad. They kind of look like how they should. So yeah, this car needs some massaging. It's going to need a lot of work actually. But it still runs good. I mean, it's just a, a big old tech V8 so aside from the MDS in there there's nothing too technologically advanced about this car it just runs off a of brute force <laughs> alright guys take it easy